Happy holidays, trainers! I hope you're all having a fun and festive time with your families this weekend. I myself have a few more gifts to wrap before I start with the festivities. But before I get into that, I wanted to bring you a quick little video tip for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. So without further ado, let's get into it. Welcome back everyone! So whether you picked up the new games when they released last month, or you got them from Old Saint Delibird this weekend, this is one tip that you'll definitely want to know. So as you know, the introduction of Generation 9 came with two games, and like any dual Pokemon titles, there's certain Pokemon that can only be caught depending on which version of the game you have. In Pokemon Scarlet you can find Armor Rouge, Flame Breed Taurus, Stonejourner, Oranguru, Coridon, and the Larvitar, Drifloon, Stunky, Skrulp, and Dino lines. Then in Pokemon Violet you can find Cerulege, Aqua Breed Tauros, Ice Q, Passimian, Maridon, and the Bagon, Mistrevis, Gulpin, Clauncher, and Dreepy lines. Now if you consider yourself a Pokedex completionist, you're going to have to trade to obtain these Pokemon. That's where today's tip comes in, as there's actually a set of trading codes within the Pokemon community, so players can get access to their opposite exclusives Pokemon. So how do these trade codes work? Well the first thing you'll need to have is an active Nintendo Online account. Without it, you'll only be able to trade in local lobbies, which essentially makes these codes useless. Now if you haven't used Nintendo Online before, you can get a free 7 day trial of the subscription, then cancel it once you're done trading so you don't get charged. Though I highly recommend getting it, as it just has so much to offer with these games. Now once you've got online, the next step is to catch the Pokemon opposite the one you need. For example, let's say you're looking for Oranguru from Scarlet. Well, the code associated with Oranguru requires a Passimian for the trade. So once you catch Passimian, input the trade code and select Passimian for the trade. Of course, you won't be able to do this without the codes, so we'll put a list of those codes up on the screen. Now, something important to keep in mind about these codes is that there's the possibility of matching up with someone who has the same version as you. This will result in getting the same Pokemon, so in the event this happens, just try the code again. Soon enough, you should match with someone who has the opposite version and get the Pokemon you want. And that brings us to the end of this tip video for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Hopefully this tip helps you if you haven't completed your Pokedex just yet. But if you already have, we'll have additional Scarlet and Violet tips throughout the coming months. So if that's something that interests you, then consider giving this video a thumbs up and subscribing to the channel. Now we're down to the final week of 2022, and while we only have one more video planned for this year, we have a ton of exciting things in store for 2023. So again, from us here on Togetips, I want to wish you all a very happy holidays, and I look forward to everything that's coming in the new year. Now if you excuse me, I gotta get back to wrapping those gifts. So until next time, thank you all so much for watching, I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you all in the next video. Take care.